Scientists have made the bold claim that they have discovered a celestial body unlike any other that has been seen before. NASA, renowned for its groundbreaking revelations, has revealed that this planet is captivating not only because of its dimensions and location, but also due to its emission of light that seems to be synthetic. Could we be on the verge of unveiling concealed realities that might profoundly transform our understanding of the universe? Could this finding point to the possibility of life existing on other planets? 32. We will soon learn the details. Of this remarkable event, by looking at the groundbreaking discoveries made by NASA, in 2007, NASA initiated the Dawn mission with the objective of investigating some of the most intriguing entities within our solar system. Equipped with three ion propulsion systems, Dawn embarked on its journey, commencing with a 14-month analysis of Vesta, the second-largest asteroid in the belt. Dawn transmitted back exceptionally detailed images and data, illuminating Vesta's intricate surface and diverse geological history. 104. Upon completing its mission at Vesta, Dawn advanced to the subsequent phase of its voyage, one that was likely even more exhilarating, a thorough examination of the dwarf planet Ceres. Thanks to its ion propulsion systems, Dawn was able to break free from Vesta's orbit and head toward Ceres, a feat that would have been unattainable with traditional chemical propulsion methods. Due to the constant thrust provided by these propulsion systems, Dawn was able to travel great distances and establish a stable orbit around Ceres. Oeno 1, 36 discovered in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi, Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt, situated between Mars and Jupiter. For four years, it was classified as the smallest dwarf planet in our solar system until its reclassification in 2006. With a diameter of approximately 950 kilometers, Ceres stands as the largest and most massive body in the asteroid belt, one of the most captivating due to its unique characteristics. Scientists eagerly anticipated the first close-up images of this enigmatic planet, which revealed brilliant spots scattered across its surface, particularly in a large crater known as Akator. 022 these luminous spots ignited immediate curiosity and speculation within the scientific community. Prior to the Dawn mission, the best images of Ceres were blurry, low-resolution photographs taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Very little was known about this dwarf planet, and the promise of detailed observations from Dawn fueled excitement among astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. 2. The Dawn mission aimed to enhance our understanding of the solar system's formation and investigate the role of water in the development of planetary bodies. The bright spots on Ceres, also observed on other asteroids, might be composed of highly reflective materials, possibly salts left behind by evaporated water. This discovery hinted at the possibility of cryovolcanism, volcanic activity that erupts water or brine instead of molten rock. But what exactly are these enigmatic lights? And what do they reveal about the true nature of Ceres? RO3, 16, could they be signs of ongoing geological processes or something even more extraordinary? Ceres stands out among the other objects in the asteroid belt because of its size, mass, composition, and the possibility that it may contain water and ice. In contrast to typical rocky asteroids, Ceres has a composition more like that of a comet, which suggests that it may reveal additional secrets about the early solar system. After two years in transit, the Dawn spacecraft finally began its approach to Ceres in early 2015, marking a significant milestone as it geared up to provide the first comprehensive views of the largest asteroid belt body. 0351 as Dawn neared. Ceres, the images became progressively sharper, revealing a world previously hidden from view. The initial photographs showed a cratered surface, suggesting a long history of impacts. However, what drew the most attention were the mysterious bright spots amid the dark, rugged terrain. As the image resolution improved, scientists began to formulate theories about the nature of these spots. 
Were they areas of ice reflecting sunlight? Or could they be something even more remarkable? 4. TIE 4 speculation ranged from mineral deposits to possible signs of cryovolcanic activity. To everyone's astonishment, closer examination showed that the brightest spot wasn't just one feature, but a collection of distinct areas. The most widely accepted explanation was that these were salt deposits left behind after water sublimated. This suggested that Ceres had, or possibly still has, some form of geological activity capable of pushing water or brine to the surface, where it rapidly evaporates, leaving behind bright reflective residues. 4. These findings challenged. Previous ideas about Ceres, painting a picture of a more dynamic and intricate world than anyone had imagined. The potential existence of subsurface water or brine pockets could have profound implications for our understanding of the possibility of life elsewhere in the solar system. Ceres is often described as an icy world with a rocky yet porous surface. Unlike most asteroids, which are largely composed of rock and metal, Ceres stands out for its distinct composition. 05. Its surface is a blend of water ice and hydrated minerals, including clays and carbonates, giving it a less dense structure than its rocky neighbors. This composition suggests that Ceres may harbor significant amounts of water beneath its surface. Its outer layer is rocky but porous, with trapped ice and other volatiles, making it resemble a comet more than a typical. Asteroid. It is believed that Ceres has a unique internal structure consisting of a rocky mantle and a core rich in water ice, which makes up about half of the planet's total volume. Though six Guatozamoir Ceres' mantle is likely a mixture of rock and brine surrounding a denser core, possibly made of silicates. The presence of substantial amounts of water ice raises the possibility that Ceres may have once supported liquid water, especially if its core was heated by radioactive decay during its early history. This internal composition sets Ceres apart from its neighboring asteroids and opens up fascinating questions regarding its potential for geological activity and the role of water in shaping its development. 6. 31. But that's not all. The identification of ammonia-rich clays on Ceres indicates that this dwarf planet might have originated in the colder outer zones of the solar system before migrating inward. The presence of ammonia could lower the freezing point of water, allowing briny liquids to exist on or near the surface. These insights into Ceres's composition and past not only expand our knowledge of this enthralling dwarf world, but also offer crucial clues about the mechanisms driving the formation and transformation of icy celestial bodies throughout the solar system. 7. One cryovolcanism is a fascinating and relatively uncommon geological phenomenon, especially in contrast to the more familiar volcanic activity on Earth. Rather than spewing molten lava, cryovolcanoes or ice volcanoes eject substances such as water, ammonia, or methane. These compounds can remain in liquid or gaseous form in extremely frigid environments. On Ceres, cryovolcanic activity allows salty water to ascend to the surface. Once this briny mixture encounters the vacuum of space, it swiftly undergoes sublimation, transforming directly from solid or liquid into gas. 07 to 34 What remains are reflective salt residues that appear as the mysterious bright spots seen on the planet. The most prominent of these bright areas is located in Ocator Crater, specifically a region nicknamed Spot 5. This site has drawn considerable attention due to its extreme reflectivity and observed temporal variations. These shifts are believed to be linked to water sublimating, suggesting that cryovolcanism may still be active or occurred recently. 8. 08. In addition to Spot 5, Ceres contains numerous other luminous spots, each exhibiting unique traits. These are not limited to a single region, 
but are dispersed across the planet's surface, indicating that cryovolcanic phenomena may be widespread. Their existence underscores Ceres's vitality and contradicts earlier assumptions that it was a static, dormant body. As the Dawn mission continued transmitting increasingly detailed images, it revealed a surface peppered with craters, each narrating a chapter of the planet's story. 840. These revelations have fundamentally changed how we perceive Ceres. The planet is now more than just a frozen relic, as evidenced by its icy composition and signs of possible cryovolcanic processes. The brilliant spots, particularly those in Arcator Crater, continue to stir scientific interest. They may represent not only geological activity, but also processes that hint at Ceres' capacity to sustain subsurface water. 9. 14. Studying Ceres Provides broader implications than just learning about a single dwarf planet. By analyzing its internal layout, surface anomalies, and bright deposits, Scientists can derive insights into the behavior and evolution of other icy bodies within our system. The substances found on Ceres, such as water ice, ammonia-rich clays, and reflective salts, may shed light on the chemical compositions and environmental dynamics of similar planetary objects. 9. 47. Moreover, the possibility of cryovolcanism opens thrilling new directions in understanding geological activity, not only on dwarf planets and icy moons in our solar system, but also on far-off exoplanets. This suggests that regions we once believed to be inert and uninhabitable might, in fact, support intricate natural processes. Could this also indicate that distant planets, once dismissed as frozen and barren, might hold the conditions necessary for life? 10. NASA's Dawn Initiative remains a shining example of the potential of cosmic exploration. The information it delivered has already transformed scientific perspectives on the birth and transformation of our solar neighborhood. Each piece of evidence contributes to our understanding of the larger story of how planets, moons, and other distant entities came to be as we continue to investigate the enigma and its surrounding celestial formations. 10. Currently, the eye. Luminous regions on Ceres stand among the most fascinating puzzles of planetary science, but they represent just the beginning. As innovations in technology continue and newer missions are deployed, the chance for even more groundbreaking discoveries increases. Ceres, once an overlooked speck in the asteroid belt, now emerges as a symbol of intrigue and promise. Its terrain, layered interior, and cryptic shining spots might one day unlock keys to understanding our solar system's youth and the mechanisms that forged its planets. 11. Tathifri, the potential for microbial life, or at least the ingredients necessary, for life to exist. On Ceres remains an exhilarating notion that continues to energize researchers and space aficionados alike. As our journey of exploring distant frontiers progresses, the boundaries between imagination and reality blur ever more. What was once confined to science fiction, the prospect of extraterrestrial life, has become a genuine scientific question. 11. Could Ceres's hidden reservoirs support the growth of microscopic organisms? Might the conditions found on other icy celestial bodies prove hospitable to life forms, either known to us or still unimagined? These are the mysteries that will inspire the next era of space research, and perhaps one day reveal the deeper truths of the universe. As scientists and engineers refine instruments and push the boundaries of robotic exploration, New missions are being envisioned to return to Ceres, or even to bring samples back to Earth. The next generation of probes may be equipped with drills capable of penetrating its icy crust, seeking evidence of liquid reservoirs or organic molecules hidden beneath the surface. Such efforts could provide the strongest clues yet about the potential for life beyond Earth. 12.52 Interest is also growing in the possibility of establishing long-term observation stations on or near Ceres, 
its relatively low gravity and rich supply of water ice make it a prime candidate for future human exploration or even habitation. In a future where humanity reaches deeper into the solar system, Ceres could serve as a critical outpost, an interplanetary waypoint between Earth and the outer planets. 13. These possibilities have sparked discussions not just within scientific circles, but also among policymakers, ethicists, and philosophers. If microbial life were discovered on Ceres, what would that mean for our place in the cosmos? How would humanity respond to evidence that life is not unique to Earth? Would it unify us under a shared sense of cosmic destiny or deepen our divisions? Zero. 1354. As we ponder these profound questions, one thing remains clear. The age of exploration is far from over. With missions like Dawn laying the groundwork, the quest to understand our solar system's origins and its hidden inhabitants continues. Ceres, once a faint point of light, now looms large as a gateway to knowledge, inviting us to seek, to question, and to dream. 1424. The bright spots in Okator Crater are no longer just visual anomalies, they are beacons, guiding us toward E, a future in which the universe is not a distant mystery, but an open book. And as each new chapter is written, we move one step closer to uncovering the ultimate truth, that life, in its many forms, may be the rule rather than the exception.